Okay, so hello again mga Fox. So again, this is Mr. Vicente Milan Kisay Jr., your BSN English 2 at uh, North Shotland Campus. So it's me again. I'm going to be tackling about uh, the woman who runs with the wolf and of course the death in the house of love. Um, so by the way, uh, let me just remind you or just refresh your mind. The author of Woman Who Runs with the Wolves is... Uh, Clarissa Pencola Estes. I really don't know if I pronounce it correctly. And the author of Death in the House of Love is uh, Ding, uh, Gabriel Garcia Marquez. So he was a Colombian author and one of the most uh, prominent figures in Latin America, uh, American literature. So Marquez is the best known uh, for his novels such as One of the Hundred Years of Solitude and Love in the Time of Cholera. So, cholera. So, but he also wrote uh, numerous short stories throughout his careers like uh, The Death in the House of Love uh, is one of his short stories. So, originally published in his collection called Leaf Storm in 1955. So, that is based on Guggen. So, Marquez's works are often uh, often char uh, characterized by magical realism blending elements of fantasy and reality in his storytelling while death in the house of love by gabriel garcia marquez and woman who runs with the wolf by clarissa pencola estes are distinct uh, distinct work with different themes so that is what we are going to be tackling today so there are a few connections we can draw between them so the exploration of women's inner world. So I think this is one of the uh, one of the highlight. So both works delve into the inner world, women, and examine their desires, emotions, and complexities complexities of their experiences. So woman uh, who runs with the wolves emphasizes the importance of reconnecting with one's authentic self. Uh, embracing uh, intuition and reclaiming suppressed aspects of uh, femininity. So similarly, Death in the House of Love delves into Sierra Maria's passion and desires. So offering insights into the depth uh, of her emotions and consequences they bring. So both works explore the power and transformative nature of love and desire. So in The Woman Who Runs with the Wolves, Love and desire are, are, are celebrated as integral components of the wild. So, instec, uh, instinctual nature of women. So, similarly, in the death in the house of love, the intense and forbidden love affair between Sierra Maria and Cayetano de Laura shapes uh, the narrative and influence the characters' lives, ultimately uh, leading to their tragic fates. So, Woman Who Runs With The Wolves encourages women to embrace their shadows aspects or the darker, suppressed parts of their um, psyche and integrate, uh, integrate them into their lives. And then, Death in the House of Love, the characters face their own mortality and confront the consequences of their actions and desires. So, the story serves as a reminder of fleeting nature of life and inevitably in inevitability of a death. So while these connections exist, these themes in different ways and from different perspectives, woman who runs with the wolves, or woman, uh, yes, with the wolves, takes a broader mythological and psychological approach. While death in the house of love is a fictional narrative that explores love, desire, and mortality in, in, in specific contexts, so I think that that's all for today's discussion. Once again, Fox.